Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you eight steps to prepare your campaign for success. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Ozair and thanks for joining in. Step one is to define your objective. It is really important you are crystal clear as to what your objective is for your campaigns. And there are different types of objectives in the Google interface. One is sales, leads, website traffic, uh, product and brand consideration, branding and local store visits. So if you are an e-commerce seller and selling products online, you want the objective to be sales. If you are a service-based business, like a dentist, plumber, insurance company and so on, then you should select the leads. The third one is website traffic. This is usually um, used by content creators or bloggers where they need a lot of eyeballs on their uh, content at the lowest possible uh, click cost. These two product and brand consideration and branding awareness are pretty much very similar. So if you want to target the top of the funnel traffic, uh, then you need to uh, create campaigns using these uh, goals. And then the last one is if you've got a, a shop or a restaurant or a physical brick and mortar store and you want the local uh, traffic or from far away as well, um, you want people to visit your store, then you should use this objective. Step two is you need, then need to choose a campaign type. So once you've selected your goal, um, you want to select the type of campaigns you want to run. And there are different types of campaigns, uh, campaign types in, in Google Ads as well. So the first one is the search campaign. So when you go to Google, you type in your search term and then the four ads pop up at the top. This is where the search ads pop up. These are shown on the search results and these are text ads. Display ads is where you are browsing. When you go to websites like CNN, New York Times, Wall Street Journals, and lots of other blogs um, where you will see these banner ads or image ads. So these are shown on websites, search results, and as well as in, in your Gmail inbox as well. And these are the image types. So these are the different type of ads compared to the search campaign, uh, search ads. Video, we've all seen these on YouTube mostly. When you go to YouTube, start your, uh, click on the video to start and you see the skip ad pop up and also ads which pop come up in between the uh, in between the ads as well so these are video ads then you've got the discovery ads um, these are the feeds on the youtube homepage and what to watch next and then gmail inboxes and also on the discover network so these type of ads are multi-image um, ads which run on the uh, discovery uh, network then you got the app ads when you are playing games you will see lots of ads pop up in there as well shopping ads come up on the google uh, search page and you will see uh, the image ads with the name of the company the product name and then the price as well on there so they come up on the search result uh, on the shopping uh, tab on the search results websites as well as the gmail uh, inboxes but these are only for people who are selling physical products so if you're selling tv an iphone or any any kind of uh, physical product uh, the shopping ads are the ones uh, which will run for those then you have the local ads uh, which run on the google maps websites and youtube ads and these are a combination of text and image ads performance max or p max that's the buzzword nowadays everybody is talking about them um, and still people can't figure out whether they are good or bad for you until you don't run them uh, you won't know uh, how good or bad they are so you need to be able to control these and as time goes by google is giving us more and more control 
on these uh, Pmax ads because Pmax goes on multiple networks. They go on the search results page on different web various websites, YouTube feeds on the YouTube uh, homepage, and what to watch the next videos, uh, shopping tab, Gmail, all these places, and of of course Discover as well. All these networks uh, they go on. Again, they are a combination of text ads, image ads, video and multi um, image ads as well and obviously the shopping ads uh, is part of Pmax. Step number three, set a budget. Now this is I think one of the most asked questions on our channel and to me, um, what is a good budget? Well I can't comment on that because I don't know your situation, your size of your business and so on. So whatever you're comfortable to set up as a test budget or a starting budget if you're new to Google Ads, just think of a budget which you are comfortable to lose because first of all, you're going to be testing a lot. Uh, you need to test quite a few things before you'll find out whether your campaigns are performing very well, you're getting leads or sales, whether you're getting just clicks and no leads or no sales, etc. So you need to um, test your audiences, keywords, your ads, and then your landing page, your offer. So there's lots of uh, moving parts uh, before a campaign starts to perform. And you need to optimize the all of these and you need to uh, test them up. So whatever you're comfortable, I would say testing, um, set the budget up. Step four is choosing your bidding. If you've selected a campaign goal, uh, when selecting a bid type, uh, you'll see a recommendation for bidding focus. For example, conversions based on your campaign goals. So this will ensure that your campaign is designed to uh, meet your specific goals. For some campaign types, uh, if, you, if you choose not to select the recommended bidding focus, uh, you can choose an automated uh, bidding strategy. For example, target uh, CPA or target ROAS. So then it depends. Now again, there is no hard and fast rule as to which bidding type or the bidding strategy is the best one. It's horses for courses. Right? So if you want video views on your uh, video ads, then you want CPV, which is the cost per view. If you want total control on your um, cost per click, then you should go with the manual bidding. If you say, I don't care about the cost per click, all I need is um, either leads or sales, then you go with the maximize conversions and set up a target ROAS or a target CPA. Step number five is extremely important because it makes your ads a lot bigger. It takes more real estate on the Google page and that's what you want. Um, your ad rank also increases and Google um, rewards you with a lower CPC. So with search video discovery and Pmax campaigns, uh, you can add additional information um, to your ads. So things like website links, directions, phone numbers, any special offers or what we call call outs as well, uh, you can add. And the site links you can add, structured snippets. So there are lots of different types of uh, extensions um, you can add to your campaign to give more information um, on your ad. Step number six is uh, creating ad groups. So you need to keep these ad groups tightly themed. So if you've got a electronic store, then I would recommend that you have one ad group for Apple iPhones, another one for smartphones, another one for uh, TVs, another one for chargers and so on. So don't mix them all in one go, uh, keep them all separate. In fact, it can either be as separate ad groups or as um, campaigns. Step number seven is select your targeting. Uh, so targeting helps you define how narrow or broad you want to go uh, with your ads and campaigns. So without targeting, your ads will have the widest possible reach. You will spend a lot of money and your budget will be eaten up in no time. 
um, most probably without giving you any results. Once you have a fair amount of conversions in your uh, in your campaign, then I would recommend that you, or in the account as well, then I would recommend that you go with uh, broad targeting because then the algorithm and the AI knows what you are looking for, who you are looking for, and it learns from these conversions. So then I would recommend you do that. But in the beginning, I would recommend that you uh, have some kind of uh, targeting. So these obviously include keywords, audiences, locations, topics, devices, and remarketing. You can also choose to serve ads to any specific uh, age people of a gender. So let's say women aged between 18 to 24 are not your target audience. You can exclude them or if you want to target these people, you can include them um, as well. Step eight, it is the most important um, factor. Do not run any campaigns without setting up the conversions. In fact, um, Google has done a really good thing is because in some of the campaign uh, setup, you've got to set up the conversions before you start running them. If you are running uh, campaigns without conversions, you're flying blind. It's kind of like driving a car without a dashboard. So every time we sit in the car to go from A to B, first thing we look at is the dashboard, right? How much fuel we've got whilst we're driving, what speed we're going at, are there any red lights popping up on the dashboard or not? So we can see uh, all the information in front of us. But if I were to blank out your dashboard and then ask you to drive, it will be possible to drive, but it will be very dangerous because you don't know how much fuel you've got in the uh, car, uh, what speed you're traveling at, and if there are any problems in the car and some red lights are popping up, you eventually are going to uh, break down um, in the middle of nowhere. So this is why conversion tracking is uh, critical to the su success or failure of any campaigns. So these are the eight steps um, to a successful uh, campaign. So hope you enjoyed this video. I would truly really appreciate if you like, subscribe and share because we upload videos like this one on a very regular basis. So thanks for being with me and I look forward to seeing you sometime very soon.